Good morning, Benjamin. bikers and uh, we are at the Black Hills Harley Davidson. I'm gonna flip you around so you guys can see the sea of bikes in the parking lot <laughs> and uh, take you guys inside to look at the different uh, the different vendors. So guys you come on here give us a thumbs up and uh, yeah tell us where you guys are watching from. I'm curious to know where you guys are located at so turning you around. Probably from their couch. Okay their couch in what city and state? There you go. You can see the parking lot is full. This is the largest dealership here in Sturgis, located in Rapid City, South Dakota. There is the vendors at this location and then just across the street. It's kind of confusing, but there's a bunch of other vendors as well. But that's separate from the dealership here. You think they're owned by them? I just thought I'd walk you through all the different vendors real, real quick, just so you guys can see. If you guys have questions, if you're watching and you have questions, I'll try to look at my phone and and when I say try to look at my phone, what I mean is it's so dark, <laughs> it's hard to see. So I'll try to see um, if you guys have questions and answer those. Maybe there's a certain like vendor you're wondering about. Maybe you're wondering how big the place is, how many vendors are here. I'll try to get answers for you guys. People peeling off, coming back, getting their bikes work done. We've got a zero phone holder that doesn't stay um, tight enough. My phone comes loose. All right, so we got vendors that way. We'll be coming across some more rows of vendors and the dealership's clear on the other side of that semi so you can that kind of gives you an idea how big how big this area is all right we'll start walking down I'm just gonna walk this road walk the other road just walk the rows tell my husband what I'm doing <laughs> Is it too windy? Do you guys hear a lot of wind noise? I'm trying to cover the phone so you guys don't hear a lot of wind noise going on. Saddleman. But I highly suggest, everybody asks Sunny and I, what do you guys use for your seats? You know, we've been, let's see, I've calculated 10,000, we're almost 11,000 miles of riding this year. And uh, they're like, what seats do you guys use? And I highly suggest don't buy an expensive name brand seat go to a custom upholster you're gonna spend money both ways but at least when you go less. to having it custom done it was it'll less. Be, it was less they'll spend less having it custom done and it'll actually be fitted to you they have you sit on the your bike contour your the way you sit on the bike all yep because we all have different asses <laughs> we all different sit sizes on different too. and you sit differently you ride differently and uh, they actually fit it to your ass so I highly suggest and there's a couple around here and I, I know people like you can actually take and mail them your seat all right he's gonna go in there I'm gonna continue to walk around are you following him or are you following me? I'm following what you want as soon as I see a locker I'm jumping off Restroom. Yeah, let's get you over to the dealership then. 
That's the bad thing about that frickin' metformin. You take it in the morning and it works on you. Try the quadlock bone mounts. They are so strong. Okay. Good to know. We'll see what they say. It should be it should be warranted. You should be able to just walk in there and For you. Oh. Yeah. I would like to ride one of these. I mean, get inside it and tootle around, but that's about it. All right, I'm gonna walk this, and then are you headed up to the dealership? Yeah. Okay. Where do you guys wanna meet or what time? Text, text Sunny whenever you're, I'm sure he'll probably still be at the booth. You don't have his phone number? I don't have his phone number. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'll give you the number. Get out of his way. This is for everybody. <laughs> We're just gonna stand in the middle of the way. 941 677 3891. And yes, that's his business number too. So if anybody gets this, it's fine. You can reach out to Sonny anytime. Say hi. That'd be funny if everybody started texting him and said, Hi, Sonny, from all these random people. That would be so cool. You guys should do that. That'll definitely make it on our daily vlog <laughs> for tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've got nothing to do with this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to walk this way. So yeah, you got it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Just text him when you're done, you're looking for us. Or text me if I'm off the live, then I can respond. All right, brick rack, trash. Stay cool, yes. Um, as you can tell, I'm wearing a long sleeves dry fit shirt just to see if that'll help with not getting overheated. But you guys know I'm cold. I'm cold all the time. So for me, this is like my Florida, my Florida home weather. I don't mind it at all. There'll be a whole section they'll have with fans a whole eating section, which is nice so you can get out of the heat. They've got vendors here. Everybody just needs to stay hydrated. But yeah, if you guys heard that it's hot here in Sturgis, if that, you know, rumor has gone around, it's not, not a rumor. Today is supposed to be the hottest day from what I am told. D and D exhaust. As you guys expected, there's all the name brands, the big brands, the big boys are here working on big bikes and apparently little bikes. Little people working on little bikes. <laughs> all right. Came back that way and then I'll turn go the other direction. It's a beautiful bike. Fun. Do you know anybody that was wanting to go to Sturgis? This is a way to like share it with them so they know what to expect next time. So hit that share button for me. Like the likes. Thank you. Oh, Karen's on here. Oh, that was Karen that said that. <laughs> Karen, I didn't, I didn't realize that was you, sweetie. Have you guys been to Daytona Bike Week? Have you been to Daytona Bike Week? It is a lot similar. But as you guys know, Florida does not have the riding. To, it took us I think, 45 minutes to get here from our Airbnb, which is only in Deadwood, to get to Rapid City. Most of it was through the canyons, all the back roads, a little bit of highway.
Suicide Choppers. Easy up stand. I bet we're gonna get more into like the accessories. So that whole, those rows were more for your bikes. Oh, and I say accessories like bows and sunglasses. All right, so we were just there. Here's the building. Patches. These are all like newer vendors I haven't seen before. All right, cutting through. <laughs> Going down this aisle. It's uh, 10.45 here in South Dakota. Two hour time difference, which has been a challenge for us, especially since we left Michigan and took three days to get here and trying to get used to the whole time change. If you guys hadn't seen our parade of bikes at the Buffalo Chip, we had that. Last night it was a success. It was a good time. It didn't rain this time, so we got to have it. We also got to get on stage in the amphitheater and present Woody with a certificate from the Guinness Book of World Records for us breaking the world record and landing at the Buffalo Chip in 2021. Guinness finally, finally approved it and gave us certificates. 113 of us finished that. They all came down to Florida, rode with us. We did eight days, seven nights, 11 states, 3,600 miles to beat a world record. And I'll be surprised if anybody does that anytime soon, because that was a hell of a ride. But we made memories <laughs> and none of us are gonna forget it, that's for sure. All right, I'm surprised. I didn't see a bunch of clothes. Well, usually every time I come to these, it's like clothes and clothes and clothes and clothes. Okay. We're going to get into the bike section. That's what this big white tent is. <laughs> All right, let's see if you guys are asking questions. on here guys appreciate it if you're in watch South Dakota watching this you're in the Sturgis area we actually dropped off some poo yep dropped off some shit at a couple of places you guys can go check out you don't know what I'm talking about I'm talking about the wreck rider fund we're raising money to help bikers that get in an accident and we're helping out locally owned businesses biker owned businesses biker-friendly businesses. So we go and we drop off a little booze. Just have to go over to our support bikers page, check it out, so you know what I'm talking about. But we visited the Sturgis Motel, owned by Rhonda. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. There to help out. And then we also went to a distillery, a contraband distillery, Black Hills Contraband Distillery. Jerry owns that. Checked that out yesterday. Go see them. You guys liking the bikes? Is this good to see? You let me know. Certain place you want to want me to stop at? <laughs> it's cooler in here. That sun's just not beating down on you. I'm sure y'all got comments about these bikes. <laughs> Where is this at? All right, so says in the description. I'm pretty sure I tagged, but we're at Black Hills Harley-Davidson during the Sturgis Rally in South Dakota. 
United States, since I know a lot of you are out of the country too. Oh, and if you're watching this and you're around here and you want to come pick up your poo, let me show you this. disconnected but it looks like it's back on now did you guys see the poo is Karen still on here oh it's windy you guys probably hear that all right where everybody can come get a drink get some food walk down the other other section saw your bag of poo. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. <laughs> I just turned the phone around and it said, lost connection. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> saw my bag of shit. <laughs> Any of these bikes catch you guys' attention? They're not old enough for me. <laughs> my bike just passed 120,000 miles on it. So I like to put some miles on. 100,000 of them are mine. 100,000 plus. I can't remember. I think I got it with 17,000 miles on it. There's no way I'm getting a brand new bike. Because if you rode like that, yeah, any scratch or dent makes you cry. At least it does me. And dang it, I can't buy a new bike and do that to it. <laughs> There's some hamsters. <laughs> Does everybody know who the hamsters are? If you don't, you have to look them up. We actually stayed at the hotel Thursday night with a bunch of them. Paul Yaffe, Rick Fairless, Savior from Providence Cycles. That was cool. Our bikes are the oldest ones. <laughs> So we knew that um, nobody was gonna take our bike if they were gonna steal bikes. We were safe. All right, so more vendors and then on down is gonna be your food vendors. But I imagine you guys probably would like to go inside the dealership. Have you guys take a peek at it. And then we will have literally done the entire Black Hills Harley Davidson parking lot. Oh, sorry about the wind. So I'm gonna turn around because it's just food vendors down there. We're turning. <laughs> People trying to sell you stuff. All right, we're gonna go walk inside the dealership. You guys get to see it. Go to the front doors. Get to give you guys the full, full experience. Oh, there's Sunny. He found me. <laughs> hey, baby. What'd you find out on the zero? 
turn your live on so that I could see where the fuck you were at. <laughs> so what did they say about the... He got a new nut. <laughs> hey, Sonny got a new nut. Yay. <laughs> That's what I needed. Some more nuts. <laughs> I was going to take them inside, show them around inside, and then that was going to be the end of the live. Okay. Yeah, because I'm not following you in the bathroom. I haven't seen them. I just walked the whole place, walked the each each aisle, and then I'm going to take them inside, and then I'll be done with the live, and and I'll catch up with you guys wherever. Uh, food. Yes. Okay. Food. Yes, of course. They want to go and eat. <laughs> All right, guys, walking in. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Harley Davidson. All right, so I'm just going to stay in here, and I'm going to pan around and not walk around the whole place. We'll just give you guys an idea of what it looks like. They have nice bathrooms in here. They do have porta potties out there, I believe, but... For the girls, we're always looking for a clean bathroom. So just so you know, we do have the bathrooms open in here and it's nice and cool place to escape the heat. All right, I'm gonna turn you around. Hey guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, I hope you guys liked it. Go in the bathroom to try out this new nut. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> so yeah, that's it guys. This is the, the whole thing if you guys just jumped on rewind i literally took you from the parking lot all the way through the entire well that's the parking lot where everybody's parking but all the way through the entire like vendors and now inside the dealership and uh i thought maybe you guys would be interested in that give me a thumbs up hit that share button because that kind of stuff shows me the love then i know you guys are seeing this and other people are seeing it and then that helps us create more content um kind of the plan is to do some lives um so as we travel, we're going to be here till Saturday. We're going to be doing lots of different things. Um, like yesterday was behind the scenes at the Buffalo Chip. If you guys were curious about that, we did our daily vlog and it's all behind the scenes because we got to go back, you know, behind the stage and all that. So it's kind of cool if you guys are interested in that. But we have tomorrow is the Flying Pistons um, benefit um, to help um, actually get bicycles in schools to be able to have the kids learn how to ride bicycles with the hope that they learn how to ride a motorcycle. Um, so that is tomorrow morning. We'll be doing that. Everybody's invited to come. And then um, creator hangout. So a bunch of content creators like us, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, um, we're all getting together to do games and just crazy stuff, which is always where all that content you guys see across social media is going to be happening. <laughs> at the Crater Hangout, which is tomorrow, at the Buffalo Chip at Camp Zero. You guys could start to ask where, where Camp Zero is. And so that'll be more, you know, shenanigans and fun. Maybe we'll do some games. I don't know, Sunny will let me. <laughs> she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> so, all right guys, ending this video. Mwah. Thank you so much. Keep coming back. We'll do more lives. See ya.